everybody today we are going to learn about getting started with microsoft excel 2013 this is our mid third mid term first lesson and chapter 5 if you have the textbook you can refer the textbook uh, chapter 5 and you can uh, do uh, see it and do it with me learning objectives are introduction to excel 2013 starting excel components of excel types of data entering data in a worksheet navigating a worksheet working with worksheets auto fill flash fill okay so excel is a spreadsheet software which is known as uh, having which is having columns and rows there are many rows and columns like a table so we use this software to uh, sort organize and manipulate data in rows and columns and this spreadsheet software is used in officers and schools especially officers we use this software to Uh, store the financial data and to perform calculations to get generate profit and loss and average sales and uh, we can uh, draw the uh, diagrams to analyze the uh, annual income like that and in the schools we can use to uh, store marks of the students and to calculate the average marks grades and uh, and so on there are many things we can uh, do using this excel so and the next thing is this allows us to take the pictorial pictorial um charts so it it is allows us it helps us to get a better understanding rather than seeing the data so these are the main uh, things that we have, we are going we are we are talking here and starting excel so before starting the excel i will teach you how to start this excel so in here i am click on my search box and type the in your search box excel like that so under that you can see the suggestions so click on the excel 2013 so this is the view of the excel it is green color so can you remember that we have learned uh, about word it is a uh, in blue blue in color so this is green so here first you have to click on blank workbook so click on there so you can see here a blank page so this is the main view of the excel so there are many things that you have to learn here okay so there are some components of the excel window so before that uh, before going to the uh, practicals i will show you what are the main components okay first one is quick access toolbar quick access toolbar we used to uh, access the tools very easily so we can categorize according to our needs and the next one is title bar whenever you are making a um, sheet in the excel sheet you have to rename according to your purpose okay the next one is uh, the parallel line the ribbon we call this as the ribbon so there are many tabs inside the ribbon example file home insert page layout formulas data review view add add in steam like that and the next one is name box so name box means uh, it gives the name of the column and the next one is cell pointer cell pointer we used to uh, uh, find the boundary so it is in greenish color it shows the boundary that surrounds the active cell it shows the active cell the next one is formula bar formula bar we used to uh, uh, to see the name box uh, that displays the contents of the current cell so formula bar also contains the enter and the cancel button columns columns uh, it is the arrangement of vertical direction rows it is the arrangement of uh, cells in the horizontal direction next one is range of cells number of cells we can uh, select here and the next one is status bar quick cells makes a worksheet so this kind of uh, columns and rows make a worksheet so there are many types of data you have to learn first one is numbers numbers mean 0 to 9 and there are some characters like calculating we are using to calculate 
those symbols we can use date and time so different dates and times that we can use according to our purpose and the formulas to calculate the average minimum maximum numbers like that we can use the formulas text text means any uh, combination of letters numbers symbols like that so uh, next one is uh, entering data in a worksheet so for that i am going to the worksheet so here what we have to learn is how to enter data so first select the the greenish color one what is that cell pointer go to the cell pointer and something type uh, whatever you can whatever you want i am going to type the thing which we can which i saw in the textbook mark marks a marks and press on enter key so the cell pointer goes to the downwards so here if you want to go if you want type something else i'm typing here name so before the first letter you had to type in capital name okay address like that you can move this is how we can add the date so next thing you have to learn navigating worksheets so navigating means there are key and keys combinations to move the cell pointer so where are to move and what to move that you have to decide so these keys shows uh, to where to move the keys so i will show you in the practicals one by one arrow keys so there are four arrow keys you can find out in your laptop uh, laptop or the desktop down arrow it goes to the down up arrow it goes to the up left arrow it goes to the left side right arrow it goes to the right side next one is tap tap it moves the cell pointer to the next row and the next one is shift and tap shift and tap okay it moves the cell pointer to the previous cell okay then enter 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 moves one cell down in a column shift and enter shift and enter shift and enter one cell up in a column you can try in your computer home home means it moves the cell pointer to the first cell in a row so if you keep your cell pointer here if you click on home it moves to the first row of the cell ctrl home ctrl home the cell pointer moves to the first cell of the current worksheet so it moves to the first cell of the current worksheet then page up so if you click here and page up it moves the screen up if you click on page down the screen goes down alt and page up so i am going to go there or something one is screen to the right in a worksheet the cell pointer moves okay then page down okay so it moves the one screen to the left in a worksheet so uh this is the main thing that we have to learn here then we will see what we have to do next okay working with worksheets working with worksheets here you have to learn how to add a new worksheet renaming a worksheet switching between worksheets deleting worksheets so i will teach you in another video that all. thank you okay. everybody today we are going to learn about getting started with microsoft excel 2013 this is our mid third mid term first lesson and chapter 5 if you have the textbook you can refer the textbook uh chapter 5 and you can uh, do uh, see it and do it with me learning